Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The 27th anniversary of Karvajar liberation. Many regions and historical sites in Western Armenia are in quarantine. Compulsory self-isolation throughout the Republic of Armenia. Crypto Armenians of Western Armenia. What makes them more confident and stronger? Documentary film about Garabet Khacho. On March 27, 1993, Armenian forces began the liberation of Karvajar. On 1st of April, Karvajar was liberated due to Armenia Gabramian, Hosep Hosepian, Volodya Avedisian, Sarkis Garapetian, Mishra Tadevusian, Joseph Nersesian, Vigen Abramian, and others. On April 2, Armenian forces moved forward, and three days later were stationed at Omar Pass. The activities of Karvajar started on the night of March 31. On April 1, after walking 25 kilometers, Armenian troops were already at the center of Karvajar. Two positions were taken, the first at 7 a.m. and the second at half past 10 a.m. The liberation of Karvajar was very important for the security of the north and northeastern border of Armenia and Artsakh. Karvajar was an important strategic point for the Armenian side, as a result of which liberation established a stable link between Armenia and Artsakh, significantly reducing the front line and securing the back of the Martak Gert. In 2013 was released the book of Levon Minasian Karvajar, The Death of Our Honor, with a detailed presentation of the liberation of Karvajar. Within the framework of the coronavirus prevention measures, a number of regions of Western Armenia are under quarantine. Cities and historical sites are shrouded in silence. The cradle of civilization's harbored fortress, always full of visitors, is now empty. Sebastian, Kars, Van, Black Sea coastal regions, Mardin, Erzengad, Dersim, Yuzgad are the regions where the villages and cities are in quarantine. There is silence everywhere. Health checkups are regularly carried out within the aforementioned areas. Deputy Prime Minister and Commandant of the current state of emergency Tigran Avignon has made a new decision on the restrictions in Armenia in the fight against the coronavirus. The new decision published on the official website of the government states that the right to free movement of people is hereby restricted in Armenia, and mandatory self-isolation of people is set either in their permanent residence or at any other place of their choice, to limit direct contact with other people and to prevent the spread of the coronavirus in the country. Free movement of population is restricted between the provinces of Armenia as well as between the capital city of Yerevan. The decision has entered into force on 1st of April and will last until 12th April. The Zartirlao Special Project continues to find out what remains of the Armenian historical heritage in Western Armenia. Who lives on our historical lands? Only Turks and Kurds or Armenian roots continue to sprout. The mythological Mount Nemrut is located in the territory of present-day Turkey. The tomb and the statues built on the top are 2,150 meters high and have a history of more than 2,000 years. The devastating hand of centuries has also had an impact here, beating the status of glory through earthquakes and winds. Archaeologists and historians consider the Nemrut statue the eighth wonder of the world, which is not not inferior to the Egyptian pyramids or the Olympic statues of the Greek gods. You can find the whole article on our website. The date of birth of Karapet Khacho is not known, but he was probably born between 1903 and 1908. His mother and father were killed in front of him and his siblings. Together with his brother Abraham and his sister Manushak, he found refuge in Kurdish settlements. He served in the French army for 15 years. He married Yeva Azizian and lived in the Syrian city of Qamishli. He immigrated to Armenia in 1946 and settled in Yerevan. For many years, he has been a correspondent for the Kurdish radio division of Yerevan Radio. He is well known among the Kurdish people, singing hundreds of Kurdish songs. You can watch the documentary about Karapet Khacho on our website. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Norait Kartashian. of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.